Hello everybody, Davies Tallow coming at you on a nice sunny Halloween day. Didn't catch my earlier video, this is the second one I've decided to do the day, and this one is concerning books. And because it's Halloween, I'm going to be doing something that's fitting for a Halloween day. Books that are kind of creepy, yeah. Anyway, uh, first one, there's five in this uh, series so so far. I don't know. I haven't checked to see if he's got any more out, but this came out uh, last fall and early spring, or early winter, or late winter, actually. I'm sorry. Anyway, it's uh, by Flint Maxwell, called the Whiteout Series. There's book one. I mean, these, it's a supernatural thriller concerning what happens if it starts snowing in the middle of summer. Why it starts snowing, nobody knows. And why are there strange creatures? I won't go into much, much more than that. It concerns uh, three friends going to a holiday weekend and uh, to drink, relax, grill and relax. You know, what uh, a lot of people, especially here in the United States, does on a Fourth of July weekend: <laughs> go out and grill. Anyway, that's the first book, The Snow. I mean, that'd be. That'd be awful. I mean, here you are, ready to celebrate the 4th of July, and it starts snowing. I mean, what the heck would you do? Cry, I suppose. Especially if you came off a big-time snowy winter. Of course, we haven't had those for quite a while. Anyway, that was the first one. The second one, The Dark Winter. Very spooky, very creepy. Flint Maxwell, he does a great job with these books. Third one, Numbing. Again, I'm not going to go into anything other than they're uh, trying to figure out what's going on, what they should do. I mean, if it can, you got to admit that if it uh, started snowing, it kept snowing day after day after day and then hardly let up. We'd be in deep, deep trouble. No pun intended. Maybe the, let's see, we have the fourth one. City of Light, or City of Light. And the fifth one, the feeding. Look at that. In fact, look down here. It's like two eyes in the coals. Creepy. But definitely check those out again. Flint Maxwell, the Whiteout series. Definitely a good read. Not not necessarily just for Halloween. Any time of the year. I generally uh, just read during the summer. <laughs> yeah, this next one, next series, was uh, made into a movie, I think, uh, a couple of years ago. Now, the movie's good, but uh, as with everything, you know, it, books are better. And it's not just because you can get more in depth, what's you know what behind what's going on with certain characters, what's going on with this, the main character. It just I, like I said, it was a good movie. It just could have been better. I mean, if they would have uh, followed the books a little bit more closely, I know a lot of time Hollywood won't do that. Filmmakers won't do that. I mean, I don't know why. But if they just followed it a little bit more closely, I think it would have been a lot better. 
but the books I'm talking about is by Ransom Riggs, and it's Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Fantastic, creepy. I mean, it's got evil characters. I mean, you know, good characters, you know. And I just loved what what he's done with uh, old photographs. I mean, like, there's one right there. Just fantastic. And when I saw that, I was like, you know, I definitely have to get this. I mean, That's the first one. Second one. Hollow City. Again, look at that. I like this one right here. Dog with a pipe. Uh, third one. Library of Souls. You know, this menacing, evil uh, uh, creature, you know, people. And it's out to get the good guys. Now, here's the fourth one. These just recently came out in the last couple, a few years. Map of Days. And number five. Conference of the Birds. I mean, it just builds. I like the way Ransom um, just builds his novels. You know, leaves leaves you hanging with one, makes you hungry for more. Most of the last one, this one came out. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it came out this year. It was past uh, past winter. Late winter. A desolation of desolations of Devil's Acre. That's where everything comes to play, comes down to the you know nitty gritty. Main characters and the uh, the evil and or good and evil are just battling it out. But uh, without giving anything away, I mean, you definitely got to check these books out. If you've seen the movie, go check out the books. You'll get a lot more, and I know Ransom will appreciate it. Fantastic guy. Knows how to write. I'm trying to write too, but uh, I'd be lucky if I even come close to Ransom. Or Flint. Flint Maxwell. I mean, so, again... White Out series and uh, Miss Perrigan's series. Check them both out. You'll be glad you did. Anyway, coming up uh, next few days, hopefully, I'll be doing uh, ranking of the albums of Holman. Uh, 80s, 90s band. They're still, I think they're still going today. But uh, if you're interested in that, check it out. I'll be also doing... Uh, Civil War, uh, Captain uh, Captain Beyond, Fate's Warning. Also plan on do Firefall, uh, Orden Ogan, Power Wolf, Warren Zevon, Kaipa, uh, Opeth. Want to do Iron Maiden, Carathungal, Candlemass, all kinds of stuff coming up this winter. So if you're interested in music, interested in books, and I'm also uh, maybe doing the movies, uh, occasional movie here and there. We'll have to see how it goes. Lately, the uh, Hollywood hasn't been really doing very much for me. Uh, I think the only movie I've really seen was uh, the one uh, Greenland. That was a really good show. Check that out. 
that was uh with uh oh this is space that started in uh five uh three hundred but anyway check that out anyway please leave a comment down below like and subscribe and click the notification bell and uh anyway have a good day have a happy halloween and we'll talk to you later